Hey smart coders, today is the third video of our Spring Boot annotation series where we are going to cover 100 plus Spring Boot annotation in very deep. We are also covering the important interview questions that can be asked on those annotations. In this series, we have already covered what is the use of AutoWard annotation, how it works, different important interview questions on the AutoWard annotation and the qualifier annotation. Now in this video, we are going to discuss what is the use of primary annotation. The topics that we are going to cover in this video will be what is the use of the primary annotation, what problem primary annotation solves, how internally it works, which will be an advanced topic. And then later we are going to cover what are the different interview questions that can be asked. If you are new to my channel, go and subscribe the channel. Also make sure that you hit the bell icon so that in the future when I upload any new video on the Spring Boot annotation series, you will get notified. Okay, let's start this video. So first let's understand what is the problem that primary annotation is solving. So in the last video we discussed what is the use of qualify annotation. So as a part of in this uh, uh, example, we created a book controller where we have an interface with uh, multiple implementation of this interface, book service one and book service two. And we found that when we have a uh, multiple implementation of an interface and we inject that interface, then AutoWire will not be able to resolve that dependency. The part to solve that problem, we use qualifier where we are specifically defining what bean we want to inject in this uh, property. Now let's suppose you remove this field. Now we have not using any qualifier annotation. So now if you will start this server, you will find out uh, no unique bean definition error. So what we can do, let's suppose you have iBook service and you want that whenever I inject iBook service, my default bean should be injected. Either it can be book service 1 or it can be book service 2. So let's suppose uh, as of now we are marking book service 1 as the default bean. So what we can do, we can use as a primary annotation. So now what is the problem that primary annotation is solving is basically to define like if you, if you have multiple bean definition and you want one of the bean to be a default bean implementation of that bean. Whenever you inject an interface that bean should be injected there. So in that case what you can do you can mark that implementation as a primary. Now if you will start this bean so let's uh, when we started we have found that this is a no unique bean definition error. Now if you will start this again because now we have marked the one of the implementation as a primary then it should work. So we will restart the server again. So we can see that our uh, uh, server started successfully. So as a part of this bean, uh, when we are calling an API, we are returning ABC and XYZ. We can run, uh, we can hit an API and we can see that. So this is the API localhost 8080, which is our port and then API. So let's hit this API and see what, error, what output we are getting. So we are getting ABC and XYZ. So that is our uh, default bean when we are injecting an interface in a every uh, like, uh, at any place in our application. Book service 2 as a primary annotation and we will remove the primary annotation from the book service 1. Now let's restart and see whether uh, the book service 2 is marked as a default implementation or not. So our server is started properly. Now hit the API again. Now you can see the output we have got is ABC and PQR which is a book service to response. So this is the basic uh, thing that we should know as a part of primary annotation. Now if you want to know the advanced thing like how internally primary annotation is working. For that I will give a basic uh, flow how it works. So the first thing. So whenever uh, Spring Boot started the server. First it will scan all the classes. It will register those bean in their container when a bean will be resolved. So here in the case book controller, when the book controller bean will be created. So it will found that there are some dependencies on these two uh, properties. So iBook service and application context. So when it is going to resolve that property, it will found that iBook service have two implementations. Then it will see any uh, implementation is marked with primary or not. So how we can check that? For that we will start this server in the debug mode to see that when a bean is registered in the container is that primary uh, that bean is marked as primary or not because at the last spring will check that flag so uh, like uh, in an interface have multiple implementation spring will check which of the bean have a primary flag true and if that flag is true then that particular bean will be injected in that pr property. 
so let's see uh, we will hit that api again now uh, what we'll do we will open this application context because this is the main thing which uh, we can use to check all the beam container so what we'll do we will we'll, uh, we will run this in an evaluate expression get auto wire capable bean factory so, uh, this will return us all the container related properties so you can see here we have a bean definition map here where we can see all the beans that are registered in the bean definition or the ioc container you can find out here so we can also see our beans should be there so book service 1 and book service 2 both beans are there so to get the bean definition what we have to do we have to uh, type cast this to default list bean factory and what we have to do we have to uh, run we have to call a method of this class get bean definition so what we'll do we'll open the get bean definition and then we'll see uh, like suppose key we have to see for the book service one so book service one this is the bean name when you open this this is the bean definition that is registered uh, in the ioc container you can see all the properties for that bean so whether it's uh, uh, the metadata for this the bean class name with what is the scope of this bean then it's a uh, auto wire mode all the depends on primary so that is the one flag that we are checking primary is false because this book service one is marked is not marked with the primary annotation so we can also see and call this method is primary which will tell whether it's a primary annotations marked with or not then we can also check with the book service 2 because in our case book service 2 is marked with the primary annotation so you will see that this is returning true so this flag is used by the spring boot internally to identify that which of the bean of an interface is marked with the primary uh, that primary annotation and based on that it will inject that bean into that property so in our case uh, book service 2 will be injected here so this is how internally spring boot uh, resolved a primary annotation bean now let's understand some uh, important interview questions so the first interview question can be asked is let's suppose you have like here we have marked the book service 2 as a primary annotation now what what will happen if i mark a qualified annotation here and i will give the book service 1 So what will happen now will the book service 2 will be injected or book service 1 will be injected here so as a part of this uh, you have to understand that which one have the high precedence so in case of primary and qualifier the qualifier have a high precedence the priority for this qualifier will be given high so in case in in this case the quality book service 1 will be injected in this a uh, property even though the primary uh, the book service 2 is marked as primary but in this case because the qualifier have the high precedence the book service 1 will be injected in this property so let's see let's run our api again and you can see the abc and xyz we are returning which is from the book service 1 and book service 2 have abc and pqr so this is the first interview question can be asked on the qualifier annotation second question is like if you have a two bean book service one and book service two and we have marked both the bean as a primary annotation so if i mark this class as also a primary annotation then what will happen will spring will be able to resolve this or which one will be given a high precedence or it will or it will give an error so let's restart this and try once so as both of the implementation of this interface is marked with primary so what will happen in this case spring will not be able to identify which bean uh, it have to inject so you can see the no qualifying bean and I, I book service and the error is no unique bean definition exception all of the topics we have covered as part of this video i also have created a document where you can see uh, the how internally spring primary annotation is working you have all the steps and then also I have given some important interview questions which you can prepare for this particular annotation. So like uh, what is the primary annotation in the spring and when you use it, what happens if you mark multiple beans with primary which we already covered, then how spring resolves the ambiguity between primary and qualifier that which one take a precedence that we also covered and this is the primary with the XML configuration and then what is the difference between primary and qualifier and when you have to use uh, which one. So these are all important uh, important interview questions you can prepare if you are new to my channel you can go to my account and see this is the series we are preparing spring boot annotations by smart coders we'll meet you in next video